Hello everyone and welcome back to today's video. So today we are going the complete opposite side of the eco spectrum and we are making a wonderful industrial higgledy piggledy house that has a wonderful amount of trash outside because <laughs> if if we were given eco stuff and wonderful debug trash items I'm gonna use them <laughs> and it's so much fun making trash houses in The Sims especially this build has all the packs on everything so using a lot of city living stuff like the really bad awful wallpapers and anything on it that said that it increases the industrialness of this area because it's always fun to do both sides and see see how the different things actually happen so it's kind of a house that you can imagine someone's put together from all the different like bits and pieces they might have found about in this part of green harbor so we're in the industrial area but we're up where the old the old mill is supposed to be i have flattened it and we're putting our steel beams everywhere it's quite an interesting little house because we've got like hidden balconies that i've been using the the new fencing with so we've got little, little touches of modern in there but it's it's basically <laughs> it's, we've got like corrugated copper roofs and we've got our steel like bar, bars everywhere the, the the ground floor is basically like old brick and then we've got concrete we've got we're using some of the new windows and then some of the machine the mosquito windows as well because they're quite fit the fit the industrial theme but we're still going still going there's like touches of modern like the two double windows there for the master bedroom it still still has that that sort of architectural flair to it but definitely definitely a little bit of a mess especially when we start doing the landscaping and getting in all those hid, like hidden debug ob objects of all the new trash stuff just like it's like at this point in the build you could take it like anywhere you could take it like really like modern or you could take it like proper proper like hardcore industrial especially with like i wanted to use all the doors with the big metal beams around them because it's, it's perfect for this build and having all the metal beams on the outside so you can like properly see that everything's really industrial so at first i thought like every little section should have its own different materials so we've got the bottom being the brick and then I thought they would like change it up where we've got like the divide with the steel beam so it's got like a painted brick texture and then obviously we have to have the, the the like corrugated iron from Strangerville because that is just that is perfect for this type of build and then I was like it's getting, getting a bit brown so I pop it in some blue <laughs> blue concrete which just kind of works quite nicely with the the red and stuff just to just get in some cool tones and it's quite interesting looking through the catalogue and seeing which items that actually have the the industrial thing because some of the stuff you think it would and then other stuff doesn't have it at all so i don't know whether we'll get more or more stuff as they like update because i was like looking and some of the cracked stone paving is like positive eco-ness and I was just like is it <laughs> are you sure <laughs> okay but I use a lot of dirt to mark out where our like quote unquote garden is so it was fun <laughs> fun popping in like wanted some dead trees and stuff about the place so using the vampire stuff and like the half dead like conifers that they have in there it's perfect for putting in all the all the like dead weird foliage from Strangerville as well definitely lots of rocks and I also used a little tower which I should have made a little tower myself really as like a lookout thing but the garden is a little bit depressing <laughs> but it, it kind of makes sense when we start putting in piles of trash and we've got vines growing everywhere because 
because of the environment that we're in it's way too industrial for the plants to grow properly i think this build fits in quite nicely up here because we've got all like the steel beams and stuff from all the gangways and the mining stuff and the i think it's the sewer treatment plant as well behind so i was just trying to find some stuff because i thought it'd be quite nice to have the generator here just as like something that they <laughs> that they just have in the back garden to power because they still have a maker space and stuff like that but it's all run off like dirty fuel rather than the bio fuel. this is when i've gone into the live edit objects and we'll put it in some like pallets and tires and cones and bits of rusted metal everywhere we've got that lovely tower as well that's scaled down because i think that kind of fits you know, like what it might have might have been on the lot already <laughs> and then we've got all the broken stuff as well like the broken fridge and all the bits and pieces that they've not bothered to clean up and the the extra objects in this it's just amazing it just looks so like disgusting <laughs> and like no one cares about anything on this lot we do have some like greenery with the vines growing up the sides so we've got a little bit of nature in here but all the nature is like formed on on and around the trash piles and especially when i started digging like pulling out these parts where we got like it already built in through the trash it just chef kiss perfect <laughs> i love love some, some grime at the moment and then inside we have three floors so we've got the a little kitchen dining room and a few couple of pallet chairs in here there's like a, like a little welcome space we've got a little tv room as well off to the side it's a little bit a little bit quieter and then upstairs i i did initially build like we'll see a third like two double bedrooms and a kid's bedroom the the second double bedroom would magically turn into a bathroom because i forgot to put one in because because i forgot and i was just like oh no there's no bathroom but we put one in don't don't frat so we're going for a very industrial obviously style inside as well so it's like a few older objects a few like newer things it's kind of real mishmash of stuff i still think it's got like some sort of style and substance to it it's not like the outside that's completely like broken and like run down i think <laughs> i think they just don't care about the environment <laughs> that much i was like i was going to use the the sims one table in here because it does kind of work but I think for like the space we need something a little bit different so we put in a little table for like a like an island type of thing so we've got a little island table and then we've got a, a proper dining table as well because I've got the hidden objects on as well we could put the little postcards up on the notice board so all the little places they've they've visited we've got the old version of the microwave as well and a few like boxes and paints and stuff so it's not like um the most sexiest <laughs> sexiest house i do love that little cactus planter but i think you would probably like hit your head <laughs> on the, coming down the stairs we've obviously got pipes up as well because we have to have we have to have like big vents and pipes and all sorts of things around here as well a lot it was quite fun doing some like proper like older like upcycly type of type of interior so we've got the pallets here so they've like used hessian sacks and stuff to put like a little table well the chairs <laughs> we've got the table to match but more more the industrial kind of side i also used the new light in here as well that i didn't use in the other one because it's just like it's a more industrial light which i think works quite nicely also they they still have lots of plants in here because you can't you can't not have plants and we also have lots and lots of cracks as well because it's it's a very run down building and we have have mice as well also speaking on on our topic of 
eco lifestyle i also started a new let's play where we're going to try and make every every well the the part we're in stay very industrial and we we're gonna try and pick all the like negative stuff so at the moment i'm trying to vote for the the neighborhood brawl thing so we can just fight <laughs> sims all the time and then i want to get the sharing is caring where we can just go around and steal everyone's objects <laughs> for our own and lock our door <laughs> and then there's like i don't know whether to have like the juice community so everyone's like off their face like constantly and then maybe like free love or something like that like just some fun <laughs> Bomb ones instead of like doing eco stuff and then perhaps the sim will sim will change his ways and because he is a physicist so he could go into the the new career and sort of learn more about the environment or something something along those lines anyway we'll have to see how it goes father christmas delivered me sadness and lies for christmas so <laughs> i think that's very fitting for the let's play <laughs> the vibe of the let's play so this is our little living area so we've got like the industrial bookshelf that's on bits of concrete concrete blocks and stuff from discover university there's like there's bits bits and pieces from like every pack that can go into an industrial house i feel like the sims is like a very like if you've got get to work if you've got like eco lifestyle and if you've got like discover university and city living you can make like oh and mishkino then you can make like a proper nice industrial build so up here where we've got our nice big double windows we've got our master bedroom using the the beds that you find in the dumpster because they're beautifully tattered up here we've also got like some really blue washed floorboards so you can kind of imagine that they had like really skanky floors and they've tried to do something about it but not really they've just like washed it in blue so downstairs we've got concrete and then up here we've got like the the, the scummy wallpaper from this not city living because it's just got that beautiful beautiful texture on the bottom just like muck it fits so nicely using the sims ones chairs as well this is where I get to use them for the desks and stuff because they fit so nicely and actually using some of the base game stuff as well in here to, to make to make it look good <laughs> and have all the rundown stuff because even cats and dogs has like some nice bits that are all distressed and stuff I don't know what it is about it it's that makes it look more real and actually <laughs> it's actually like got some theming going on like you don't have to have all the same objects but if they're all distressed it kind of just adds something <laughs> something that you can't put your finger on and makes it beautiful <laughs> and this room is quite big as well we've got some plants in here we've got a nice rug as well just to cover the floor and then we have at the moment we have like a teen bedroom which also has like the double bed and stuff but this is where the bathroom is so the bathroom has a strange reveal shower because if you want to go off the grid that's a good one to have and you can actually go like having this pack and off the grid is actually quite good because you can go and collect water from your local like fishing location and actually like use that water i was just like why did it take this long for them to implement that <laughs> it's like if you're gonna do off the grid like off the grid tiny house and like some of the other bits you could really make like a proper like really good challenge and get your bills like right down so you wouldn't be paying like anything which is like insane but super cool as well so over on this side we have our kids bedroom so they've got they've got a little bit nicer bed it still looks as though they've like handmade the sheets and something like something along those lines and 
using some of the kid stuff in here so it's a little bit nicer you know it's a, it's a kid you don't want to give them too like tattered stuff because it's a, a little bit mean <laughs> and making they've got like the most windows in here also I thought it'd be fun to put like the little science projects about so we've got like the robot and the tesla coil and like little bridges and stuff so perhaps the, like the the local school they do lots of like projects about like industrialization and stuff like that so they they can learn how to be how to be builders or eco or eco warriors or whatever go join the protests that were happening <laughs> about the place and we've got a few like bits of graffiti and stuff up here up as well but on the top floor we have kind of like a space for whatever really we've got our like robotics thing because i thought they'd be like that'd be the sort of thing they're into we've also got like a, the juice fizzer and the woodworking table that's one thing i want to get into in my let's play is making bin juice <laughs> and selling it to everyone this is like please buy my bin juice <laughs> gotta love the a, a great use for trash fruit that's, that was a that was a really good move <laughs> on actually having some use for that because we gotta love some suspicious some suspicious fizz and we've also got laundry and stuff we've got like a little spying thing as well because you thought, thought they'd be a little bit into their conspiracies and stuff like that so they have a little monitoring thing and we have a little office up here so if you wanted to, to put the the bedroom that we had below up here instead of having an office you could also do that as well let's have a dartboard and stuff up here and and put a rocket thing like a rocket landing pad at the top as well just so just so it had like some like they were working on some big industrial thing i th think it's quite appropriate to have a rocket up there but it it sort of looks good as just a just a decorative decorative item as well i also use the the little locker as well from discover university because that, that kind of fits in with the theme we've got a little barbecue up here from one of the barrels and we obviously have our washing line but i don't know whether you'd want to wash <laughs> wash your clothes in the in the industrialness i was trying to find a table that had like distressed stuff so we usually one from the oh what's it called island living and we've got a little maker space under here with our generator the basketball we actually don't have too much stuff outside with like obviously loads of bins and stuff uh, a fire pit as well because obviously burning trash <laughs> got add to got add to the vibe and they also put some of the little camping chairs out so if you've got out the outdoor one i can't remember what it's called <laughs> if you have that one you can put those types of chairs and stuff about so they can like sit <laughs> sit in the trash and talk about stuff then just putting just putting some extra pipes and a little billboard on the side as well and i think i think we are actually nearly done or do i go back in and do the hallway i can't remember yeah i do the hallway <laughs> so i do love this painting set i wish we could have them as hanging paintings as well we need more paintings but we have a lot we have our little hallway that has a few bits and pieces in here and it's quite a we also have the two balconies so the balcony at the back i put two two more of the upcycle chairs in there just so we have a little seating area at the top and at the front we just have some plants as well because just make it look a little green so this is our like hidden balcony at the back so no one can see you when you're in there and then we've got this kind of this green one out the front that's supposed to be like all overgrown but there is our little industrial house so it's our screenshots so you can get a little bit of a look inside and you can also see the bathroom as well <laughs> that i had to add in so this is our kitchen and dining room our living area our master bedroom three different angles our hallway our kids bedroom our maker space upstairs our office and our bathroom so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did feel free to give it a like and hopefully i will see you in the next one bye